Anna Cristina with Tools of Hope, sharing Tools of Hope with the Resilience Builders. I wanted to come on and do something that I, I haven't really done before. I tried earlier and it didn't stick. So I wanted to share with you part of an email that I sent to a very, very dear friend, Judith Simon Prager. And I was needing to pick myself up. The bottom line is I was needing to pick myself up. It has been, um, as it has been for all of us on our journeys, a very tough, a very tough season, a very tough season. We happen to have COVID in our house. We happen to have COVID in our home. I haven't shared it with very many people. And um, we apparently encountered it asymptomatically. And then my husband came down with what is now over three months of illness. And what they finally figured out is, and when they finally diagnosed it and said, well, it's um, multi-systemic inflammation syndrome, which is basically a fancy way to say you feel like crap. Uh, uh, much worse words come to mind. But the bottom line is it's impacted just about every piece of our life here in our home. What I am super thankful for is that he's not in the hospital. What I am super thankful for is that um, that we're beating it, that we're, we're coming through. I'm super thankful for the encouragement and the prayers of the people that have known. But here's the bottom line is in between all of this, I joined into a challenge and I joined into a course that's teaching me how to get my passion and my purpose out into the world. And the way that I chose to do this is through the Women's Responder Resilience Summit. That is my, was my dream. It's been my little, um, my, my child, you know, my, my dream child. What is it? <laughs> um, and it has been the single toughest professional undertaking that I have ever encountered. That's saying a lot, right? It's been what I told somebody this morning. It's been like a three month marathon that I had to do at a sprint. It's just, it's been unbelievable. The, the amount of work. And sometimes you don't see the fruit right away. As with projects that we do that are long-term, we don't always see the fruit right away. So I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to say, if you have something that you've been wanting to do, if you have something that you're in the middle of, if you have something that you started, but you dropped, maybe because of COVID or maybe because of other circumstances, I'm here to encourage you while you're in that battle, as you pick it back up and start to march along with it start to climb up those mountains with it, start to climb over all those um, obstacles and blocks that have gotten in your way. So this is part of the email that I wrote to my friend Judith this morning as I was preparing for an interview. Um, I said, you know, Judith, I'm working, I'm, I'm going to read this, it's right in front of me. I'm spiritually working to stay in peace and stay in rest. And it's my biggest challenge and it's my biggest opportunity with this project. In fact, I think that no matter what the outcome is, I know that my heart was in the right place. I know that my heart is in the right place. I know that what I've done is what I was called to do. I know that it hasn't been perfect. And as an aside, there's been a number of technological snafus that have happened. There has been a number of my own errors that have happened. Uh, I've confused the heck out of the speakers at various times, and they've been the most gracious people to work with me on something that I've never done before. I know that I have done my utter best, and I know that I'm called to be in a place of peace as I do it, and I'm still learning how to do that because I'm going to do another parenthesis because here's the thing. We think that we have to be perfect. We think that we have to check all the boxes. And the truth is, all we need to do is be who we were called to be. And we're called to be at peace. And we're called to be in a place of rest, even in the midst of the chaos, even in the midst of the crisis, even and yeah, the crying, even in the midst of the pain. And I said to her, I said, I'm tearing up as I type this, so I know that this is a deep, rich opportunity. I get to let go the expectations. I get to let go the fear of not being professional or perfect. Take any of this that you want. I want you to take this. Anything that I might say that resonates for you or that looks good or that feels just right, I want you to take this on. I'm going to repeat that. I get to let go of the expectations that other people have put on me or that I have put on myself. I get to let go of the fear of not being professional. I get to let go of the fear of not being perfect. I get to embrace what we are doing. I get to, I get to keep my focus in the right 
space. I get to know that it is well. It is well. In the midst of the pain and the crisis and the chaos, I get to be in that place of peace. It is well. I stand in who I am. I stand knowing whose I am. I am, and then put your name in there. My name is Anna Christina. I am Anna Christina. I am a seed planter, and I am a light bringer, and I am a bridge builder. When we stand in who we are, we can bring that into any space that we enter, physically or virtually. I encourage you today to take a moment to be in peace, to take a moment to be in rest, because we are built, we are built to be able to get our lives back, to live, to really live. You are built, you're here and you're listening because you are built to speak healing. You are built to make a difference and you are built to be a light in the darkness. This is Anna Christina sharing tools of hope with the Resilience Builders. I'll see you in the next video.